Fred, if you kind of updated your new features since the last time, um, I got this kind of cool, you know, unison detune mode going, which really is great for, you know, really deep pads. And I don't know if you were here last time, but it's it a bit thin sounding, so it's really been beefed up a lot. So, you know, I was, like, I was at a cafe a, a few days ago, and I was going to work on it, but I decided to kind of write a demo, another demo song instead, that kind of, you know, shows off some of the new features. Um, so, I'm going to play that in a sec. Um, I should probably warn you, this is, you know, this is like, you know, pretty early in development, so I, I think I just fixed like a stuck notes problem. Maybe, maybe it's not fixed, I see if any notes stick in this playback, but uh, here it goes. So, so everything but the drums is done by this VSTM record. <laughs> Much it with that so far, um, but you know I, I want to show you guys uh, you, you know the, the really big difference. So, so this detune mode is basically you know I don't know if you do like the super saw on like those goes like ladies and um, but so you know here's the pad without any kind of detuning. Uh, you know here's a width detuning. Turn it off. So, so, so it's also much, you know, much less choir-like without the detune. Um, you know, you think it's massive detune. But so for every note you press, it's triggering like you know four or five notes um, that are spread out. And then there's there's a there's a couple of voices that actually drift around the notes. They're kind of they're able to run. You know, it's a little bit of unpred unpredictability there. Um, and the thing I have a minute too on this, so a little bit of background about this, this is a um, synthesizer that, you know, the style of it is, I don't know if you guys remember the, the old like 80s Casios, like the Casio CV series, you know, it's, it's taking that technique and kind of taking that and adding features that you find really in kind of higher end, you know, analog style sets. So, you know, for instance, I have pulse, pulse width modulation, which you don't really find on those synths very often. Um, I think, you know, last time I, Chris asked me, you know, what am I doing differently in this synth that, you know, and I, I didn't have any answer ready, so I, I had to add a couple of things. Let's see if I can show that off, if I get the voice for that. Okay, so that's my lead. Now if I turn the, the width down, you can hear it, it kind of shapes a little bit. I kept turning it up, because it was actually like a minimum. Interface in the 
think it's a little bit, um, a little bit narrower. Any, you, you, on this, on the synth, you can actually alter the pulse width of any waveform, not just square. You know, most synthesizers, you can kind of change the square around, but you can't. You know, if you have a saw wave or something else, you can't quite make that more narrow. So you can actually alter it any waveform on this. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my demo for now. You know, kind of spruce it up in the coming months. But.